Hello everyone. I am Dr. Arpita. A very warm welcome to my YouTube channel. The topic for today's discussion is edible mushroom. Here we will focus on any one type of edible mushroom and we will study that in details. So let's uh, get started. In this lecture we will discuss about oyster mushroom or pleuritus ostriatus. So let's start. Mushrooms are a very common delicacy these days. I think there is no one who has not come across this word, right? Whether you like to have it or not, you have at least heard of it, right? Okay, so the word mushroom was derived from the Latin and Greek words fungus and my case. Okay, in the present conception, a fungus species is considered edible if eating causes no health disorders. That means what? If you eat it, it should not produce any ill effects or adverse effects in your body. In broader sense, mushrooms are fungi. Okay, mushrooms are nothing but fruiting bodies of uh, members of basidiomycetes and ascomycetes. Right? Mushrooms may be edible, inedible or poisonous. Sometimes non-poisonous also. It may be in, inedible but not poisonous. So, we will consider them to be non-poisonous. Okay. The digestibility of mushrooms is directly related to the cellular structure of the bodies. Mushrooms have been consumed since earliest history. From time immemorial, people are consuming mushrooms. Okay. Ancient Greeks believed that mushrooms provided strength for warriors in battle and the Romans perceived them as the food of the gods. Uh, in the olden days, people did not know much about its science, but, but uh, they were pretty aware that this ingredient, this food stuff is a very beneficial one, a food stuff that is fortified with a lot of nutrients, okay? Oyster mushrooms grow on and near trees in subtropical and temperate forests of the world. See, here we are discussing the habit of mushrooms. It is uh, cosmopolitan. This oyster mushroom is found to grow, you know, everywhere around the globe. As wood decomposers, they often grow on logs and dead standing trees. They tend to prefer deciduous trees, especially oak and beech. Open leafy forests make them happy and they tend to grow in the shade. Now, let's look at how oyster mushroom appear to us. That means, how do they look? Oyster mushrooms have a white or light brown to a darker brown funnel shaped cap with whitish yellow gills running up a short of center stem the flesh is white the cap is usually a little grayish in color and 5 to 25 centimeter across and it grows in a shelf like formation often with overlapping clusters gills are white and decorant Now we'll discuss each of its parts in little more details. Okay, let's start with the cap. The cap is white, cream, brown or bluish gray in color. Usually bracket like with either a radial stem or an eccentric stem. Convex gradually becoming centrally depressed with a wavy margin. Right? 5 to 8 centimeter 
in length of, uh, that is across length is 5 to 18 centimeters often in overlapping groups but with each stem separately attached to the substrate so each stem is separately attached to the substrate though it is uh, found to grow in an overlapping manner overlapping groups but each stem is separately attached to the substrate if you take a look at it at the picture i have provided plenty of uh, pictures here if you look into that you'll understand better now coming to the gills and stem part the gills are white turning pale ochre with age so as it becomes old it becomes pale and ochre color okay it remain crowded and decadent now the stem the stem is white or cream woolly at the base sometimes stemless but usually with short stems 1 to 3 cm long and 1 to 2 cm in diameter tapering towards the base okay no stem ring is found then we'll come to the spores the spores are sub cylindrical to narrow kidney shaped smooth which are 8 to 12.5 into 3 to 4.5 micrometers so this is how the oyster mushroom look like now we'll talk a little about the nutritional facts and health benefits of oyster mushroom why are we considering it to be so important see oyster mushroom contain several polysaccharides which are thought to influence our health in a in an extreme beneficial way it is low cholesterol or you can say it's cholesterol free sodium content is less calorie content is less and it is fat free that is why mushroom has become a very important and very favorite item for diet uh, for weight loss plan it is a it is an important ingredient of diet food they have considerable importance in the human diet as they are rich in protein non starchy carbohydrates dietary fiber minerals and vitamin b and have no cholesterol and negligible amount of fat see this the nutritional uh, classification or nutritional values that are there in the in mushroom is being given by usda 86 gram of raw mushroom that is a regular cup of mushroom contains only 28 calories 0.3 grams of fat 15.5 mg sodium 5.2 grams carbohydrates 2 gram of fiber 0.95 gram of sugar 2.9 grams of protein and 4.27 grams of niacin so you can understand how rich this item is this mushroom is so very beneficial right edible mushrooms are an excellent source of proteins minerals polysaccharides unsaturated fatty acids and secondary metabolites okay numerous studies have provided evidence for the protective effects of edible mushrooms against various chronic diseases okay so it not only gives us a lot of health benefit it also helps us to fight diseases cure chronic diseases or keep chronic diseases at bay that is why it is so very important as a diet component okay finally before we conclude we should know how to store this food item hmm. so let's talk a little about its storage and food safety the best way to store oyster mushroom is to place them in a plastic bag or on a plate covered with plastic wrap in the refrigerator so, so this is a very common way how we preserve food some people place a mushroom in a pa paper bag in the refrigerator fresh mushrooms are likely to stay good for about 4 to 7 days this is one way of uh, 
preserving it another way it can be dried in an oven say at 150 degrees fahrenheit then i mean this is how it can also be preserved okay so this is how we come to the end of our lecture i hope you have enjoyed learning uh, something new in case you have any confusion or doubts anywhere please feel free to get back to me in the comment section i will try my level best to get back to you and clear your confusions and doubt till then stay tuned for a for another lecture which is soon going to follow till then goodbye